Marissa, was it your turn to go? Oh, when I left, I felt like it definitely wasn't my time to go. I am not a dancer, so I wish it was more about like performance level in like a photo shoot or a runway. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I guess they did have an objective that we were supposed to reach, and I guess as a model or as a businesswoman, you're supposed to reach everything that's thrown at you, and I just missed the mark on that one. But I was pissed that it was dancing. Yeah. Because when you left, one of the things that we all talked about as judges, it was like, she didn't give two shits. We thought, you, you gave us the emotion and the attitude that you were just over the competition, and you was like, okay, I'm going home, I'm cool with it. Was that, was that how you were feeling? I definitely wasn't cool with it. I definitely didn't want to leave. I wanted to be America's Next Top Model, but I'm not going to cry about it because I can't change what the outcome is going to be. And so I was just really just prepared for it. Let's talk about Kyle and that yeah. relationship. How did, how did that start? She had already told people how she was like digging me or whatever, and I didn't really know mm -hmm. until she made a move, and then I just was kind of rolling within, seeing like what would happen. You know, she's beautiful, so yeah. I didn't mind it at all, but I wasn't expecting it. And you know, some of the greatest things happen when you're not expecting it. Really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now that you're headed back to your regular life and back to the real world, what's gonna happen with you and Kyle? Honestly, we're gonna have to see what happens. You know, I'm not gonna plan anything with her. I'm not gonna plan anything of my life. I'm mm -hmm. planning on going back there and, you know, making something of myself before anything. So when I'm super established, then maybe I'll say, hey, we're gonna be this and that. But until then, uh, who knows? Like, But you'll definitely keep in contact. Yeah, we'll totally keep yeah. in contact. I think she's awesome. And I think, you know, there's definitely that chemistry there that could blossom into something, but you never know. You did have a moment with Courtney, who seems to be the catalyst for all the drama in the house. What was that moment, and what did you talk to her about? I kind of just wanted to understand, like, a little bit about her past, what happened that made her the way that she is today. She is very, like, she puts herself in the victim role nine times out of ten. She'll kind of start a fight and then flip it around, like, oh, why are you coming at me like that? And so I just told her, like, you need to stop victimizing yourself and actually be, like, a grown boss woman. And if you're putting yourself in a situation, you need to come out of that situation strong and handle it and not flip it like, like you're a turtle on your back, you know what I mean? She always played victim, so I was like, you need to take that a little better and actually defend yourself instead of, you know, trying to be the baby of the situation when yeah. you started all the problems anyways. Right. Yeah, it was so annoying. Like, why are you playing the victim? I can't stand that. I know. Who was your biggest competition? My biggest competition, I would say, was Courtney because she just had a face that no matter what would get a great shot, but her personality did not compete with mine at all. So that's it just goes two different levels. Yeah, okay. So, Courtney, most confrontational. Most confrontational? We're back to Courtney again. Um, I think she was probably the most confrontational. She was the one that would do things to bother a person, and then when they finally explode on her, she's like, well, why are you being so mean? And it's just, it got really, really annoying. It felt like we were all adults with one child, and she did end up being the cause of a lot of arguments in the house. I'm, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be quiet. Let me know, tell me, who was the mom of the house? The mom of the house was definitely Paige. Mm -hmm. Paige took care of everybody and just was really a positive energy when you needed one. If you needed to talk about anything, she always knew what to say. I mean, you said that plenty of times. She really always knew what to say. Was it that a little annoying, though? It was a little annoying at yeah. times. It seemed really scripted at times. But then when you get to know her and you know that that's literally just how she is, she's always going to sound kind of scripted and perfect, then, then you're like, OK, well, I actually appreciate what she's saying to me, no matter how it's being told. It's, you know. Okay. You appreciate it. Who do you want to win? I, thinking on a more professional level, I would like, honestly, myself to win, but I guess that's not an option. So let's see. I think that Cody would do really well. I think Cody. she. I think she's really beautiful and she's really blossoming and like finding herself even more than she already thought she knew. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really awesome. We really bonded and everything. Mm -hmm. And um, I think India's great too. So, I mean, she's beautiful. She, I feel, lacks the confidence possibly. Mm -hmm. But, you know, once you're America's Next Top Model, you know, you can only go up from there. So it would be an awesome platform for her. What advice would you give girls that's contemplating um, doing this show, doing America's Next Top Model? I would say do it. Why not? If anything, you get experience, you get a platform, and um, you get to meet some really awesome people that can really relate to this experience and this experience only. So I would say totally do it. So Bye. it was such a pleasure working with you and seeing yes. you and talking to you and meeting you and getting to know you. And 
I wish you well, and I'm so happy for you. And thank you. This is the end of our end this of is our the time end of the together. Ride. Thank you so <laughs> much. Welcome. You're so great. <laughs>